Here are all of the coats and accessories that I believe are essential for a freezing cold Canadian winter. I want to start off with some of my accessories and I'm going to show you some of the winter outfits that I put together. Just basically stay warm when it's freezing cold outside and still look cute. If you're interested, just keep watching and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I post more of my outfits on there as well. Let's get started. So the first thing that I think is absolutely essential if you live in a cold climate is mittens. So gloves are a little bit warmer than mittens, but it's very important to me that I can use my phone easily when I'm walking outside. So I actually prefer mittens for this reason. I found these white knitted gloves from The Gap and these are really cool because they have like a little hole on the index finger and the thumb. So when you put it on, you can actually just take off the cap and continue to use your phone. And this is so, so good. I've been looking for a good pair of tech gloves. I've tried the ones with like the little rubber tip and those like, sometimes they don't work so well. So when I found these, I was super excited. It's so easy to take the cap on and off, poke out your little finger and then you can pop back in. So I absolutely love these. Another accessory that's essential for the winter time are scarves. And I have a scarf right here. This one is actually from YesStyle. I love it a lot. It's like this coffee brown color and I really love the print. It looks really nice in contrast with like a camel coat or a black coat. Yeah, it's super soft, really, really warm. I also have some affordable options from Zara and Oakenfort. Dark one that's originally from Oakenfort. I'm gonna link something similar, but this one, is really cool. There's like a black print, but then also an olive um, accent within the pattern. I also have this camel one that's from Zara. This one is not wool or cashmere, but I still think it's really nice and I love the color of it. Yeah, scarves are a must. The next thing I wanna talk about are base layers. So a layer that goes underneath your sweater and your jeans in the winter time and it's just, it's like laundrons. It just keeps that heat in and it gives you an extra layer of protection against the winter. And Uniqlo makes really good base layers. They're called the Heat Tech. They have the top and the tights here and these are so good. I got these a couple years ago. I used to wear them on my commute to work during the winter and they've always been super warm and they're really good to throw on under a pair of dress pants. I know dress pants can tend to be thinner, so they're really good for that. You can also wear a long sleeve. You don't want to invest in base layer, but these are kind of designed to be invisible under clothing, so they have kind of a wide collar. So if you're wearing a crew neck, they're not going to poke out, and the sleeves are also just a little bit shorter than your average sleeve, so they don't poke out under your sweater as well. Yeah, they're both really thin, but really warm, really, really good for winter. The last thing that I think is essential for winter is a warm pair of winter boots and I have these heavy duty Ugg boots. They are fur lined on the inside and they have treads on them so it's good for walking in the snow or slush where it can be slippery. Trendy boots and leather boots are all well and good but I feel like in the winter time especially when it's really snowy my top priority is not falling in the snow and just not getting my feet wet so these are absolutely essential for me. I show you a couple of outfits where I style them and while it is a heavy duty pair of boots I think it still looks pretty cute with certain outfits. These are essentials especially if you live where it snows just so good. The next winter accessory that you need is a good beanie. This one is from Zara and I tried to put this in my styling portion of this video but my hair was just not having it so I tried my best but just you know imagine that I do wear this with my outfits and I really like this one from Zara because it does fit like bigger so um, it's not like a super tight looking fit on your head. I'm not really a fan of beanies that fit like a condom on your head, if you know what I mean. So I really like this one. It's like a chunkier beanie and it keeps you really warm. If you want a even warmer beanie, I would also invest in a wool or cashmere beanie as well. But so moving on to the coats, I have five coats to show you. Obviously you don't need five coats if you don't live in a cold climate, but since I do live in Toronto where we have a pretty long and cold winter, I do like having more coats so I can have them on rotation. Kind of just switch up my look from time to time so it's not so boring. With that being said, the first coat that I want to show you is a camel coat. This one is the Stedman coat from 
Aritzia. It's a single breasted kind of looser menswear inspired coat. It's not lined so I can't wear it in like super cold winters but it is a good piece to layer with when you have kind of a warmer winter day. And yeah I just love having a camel coat on rotation in my closet because it just elevates your outfit. It makes you look more elegant and classy. And this coat also is really easy to style over a blazer because it is already kind of that structured look. So it's a really good layering coat. This next coat is a black wool coat and while having a camel coat is nice, I think there's nothing that beats a good black wool coat in terms of its versatility and it just goes with everything because it's black. You don't have to worry about this getting dirty. You could be walking on the sidewalk, like if a car drives by really fast and splashes water on you, you don't have to worry about it because it's a black coat. This one is from Oakenfort. I will link a similar version. This one is kind of an oversized fit whereas the camel coat was more fitted so I like that versatility as well. This one is lined as well so it is better for those like cold winter days. So the next coat I want to show you it is this tie belt coat. Because this one is a tie belt closure, I feel like it is just a tad on the dressier side. This one is from H&M. I have it in a size extra small. I love how it accentuates your waist so you don't lose your figure when you're kind of out and about. Very versatile, goes with pretty much anything. <laughs> Same with all of the other coats that I have to show you, but yeah. The next coat I have to show you is a puffer. This one is a shorter length and it's from H&M. This one is completely vegan, super affordable, such a flattering fit. It's super warm and kind of oversized, but not too much. So the very last thing I want to show you is my warmest coat for this winter. It is the Super Puff from Aritzia and I have it in the long version. This is going to be my coat for like the super, super cold days in the winter. I got this one in black so it'll go with pretty much um, all of my outfits.
those are all the outfits and all the coats and accessories that I wanted to show you. I think that this is my complete winter checklist. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, don't forget to subscribe and I hope you all have a really great week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!